in this lecture we are going to start solving cambridge uh, mathematics stage 9 paper 1 of 2024 cambridge lower secondary progression test we start off from question number 1 it states that the diagram shows a quadrilateral with the exterior angles marked you can see a quadrilateral a four sided diagram is there in front of us which is known as a quadrilateral and we are given with its exterior angles each of them is 100 degrees so we need to calculate an exterior angle that is marked x so that has to be since we know that sum of the angles is 360 so that's why the three angles add up to give us 300 so x is going to be calculated as 360 Minus the sum of these three exterior angles, which is three hundred. So this would give us an angle of sixty degrees. So the value of x is sixty degrees. Okay. Now it's question number two. Here are some calculations. Write each calculation in the correct column in the table. One has been done for you. answer is negative you can see that when two numbers are being multiplied or divided with different signs the answer is always having a negative sign with that so that's why negative 9 times 7 has been written in the negative column so we need to find out another pair in which two of the terms uh, would be having different signs means one would be positive and the other one is going to be negative one so that is going to be the third one so you can write down over here 12 divided by negative 3 and now the rest of the uh, amounts are to be placed in answer in positive one so negative 3 whole squared that was is going to be give us uh, a positive answer similarly negative 8 divided by negative 4 would give us a positive answer so this is how this question is to be done uh and this for example let me explain this uh negative 3 raised to power 2 when this is negative 3 raised to power 2 that would give you negative 3 times negative 3 so negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 when you are using the same uh, amount using your calculator though this is the non calculator paper and we are not supposed to use the calculator but if you just want to check it using your calculator you need to uh, use the brackets first so you would be using bracket then negative 3 then uh, bracket close and then you would use the square symbol so that would give you an answer of positive 9 but if you are not uh, substituting these brackets the answer from the calculator is going to be negative 9 so this is how it is to be solved okay secondly after this we proceed to question number 3 now the term to term rule of a sequence is square and then add to the first term of the sequence is 3 to find out the second term of the sequence we need to follow these steps squaring the amount and then adding 2 so square of 2 which is obviously 9 first term is 3 so that is going to give us 9 and then you need to add 2 so that would give us 11 so that is its answer the first term is 3 you need to square it first so squaring that 3 that yields 9 then we need to add 2 so 9 plus 2 that would give us 11 so this is how this question is to be solved then we proceed to question number 4 draw a ring around the number that is rational 
from all of these numbers, we need to first of all compare th that all of the numbers are going to have square root sign with them. So out of all these numbers, the number which has uh, got a square root sign and the number itself is a perfect square, that would yield a rational number. So that is 4 only because 2 is not a, a perfect square, neither 6 or 8. All of these three numbers, 2, 6 and 8, none of them is a perfect square. So that's why when we would be taking its square root, we are not going to have a rational number. So for this, we need to give uh, around, around this negative uh, square root of 4 only. And question number 5 now. Show that the area of the trapezium is smaller than the area of the square. Uh, first of all, let us calculate the area of the square. Area of the square is given by the formula length square. So this is going to give 10 square, which is 100 centimeters squares. Then we need to calculate the area of the trapezium. Area of the trapezium is given by the formula half times sum of the parallel sides. In this case, the parallel sides are 4 and 18. And we need to multiply it with the height of the trapezium, which is 9. So simplifying them together, we can have 18 plus 4, 22, 22 divided by 2. That is 11 and times 9. So the answer is 99 centimeter squares. So from this, we can see that we have shown that the area of the trapezium is smaller than the area of the Square. So, what else we can write it down? We can show that this is lesser than the uh, area of square. So, this is how these questions are to be done.